Okay, so let's try this experiment. I not really ever, I've not filmed myself painting. So this is how I'm starting this particular painting anyway. I'm making an under, an undercoat with a little of To do a base. This is just plain water. And this is going to give me the start. And I decided that this is the sky, so this is what I'm starting with. And basically, I'm just laying down a lot of this, working it in. Might as well work left handed because, well, hey. I'm ambidextrous, and you have a better view this way. And I just want to get it everywhere. Whoops. Doesn't matter if it hits this table. And it doesn't matter if it hits me either. All right, so a little more blue than I probably need. As you can see, the colors are all kind of sort of mixing in, which is how I like it. Start. So this is essentially going to be the sky. It's a little darker than I think I want it. So I'll probably put in some more white. The edges here. This particular painting is going to be a scene. So if you've ever seen Shards of Shattered Dreams, I kind of started out this way as well with the background being done first. here because I don't want to get blue into my big my big thing of Liquitex professional heavy body because I like working with heavy body put a little more water so this will lighten it up and we'll spread it all in there now, if you've seen my paintings, you know I'm not really into having a good mix of paint. This is unusually homogeneous for me. I'm not usually this much of a homogeneous. I like it unmixed. But because of how this painting is going to be in terms of the sky being very misty, that's how I want to start it. The next thing that I'll be doing will be the ground or what will be mostly ground and then there'll be a beating and a, a building so this painting also is going to be based on human conflict specifically the buildings that have been bombed in the ukraine in ukraine buildings that have people living in them or did have people living in them so that's how I'm starting. I didn't do the bottom. Sometimes I do the whole thing in the same color. And I could just to get the paint off of here. And now I'm going to go rot wash this brush. This is a... It's called Corona Silk. And I think it's used for... I used it when I was doing murals. But I think it's also just used for some uh, wall painting as well. It's a very good brush. So I don't want it to get hard with the acrylic paint. So this is how I start. Bye-bye.